I'm Simon Salako with Advanced Micro Devices, and this is the experiment. What we've done is we've come to the desert outside Las Vegas, away from the blitz of CES, and we've brought world-famous overclockers from around the world in conjunction with Extreme Systems to this event where we're using AMD Phenom 2 and Dragon technology under extreme cooling. This is an experimental environment. We're uh, in a tent. It's a little cool outside. We have liquid nitrogen cooling, which will then be subsequ uh, subsequently enhancing with liquid helium. This will allow us to get into temperatures well below negative 200 degrees centigrade. And AMD Phenom 2 processors on Dragon technology will be operating and will attempt to break a number of records tonight. And that's what we're doing. We've done some cooling of this processor under liquid nitrogen. We get it down to about 190. And at that point, we've got to wait for the liquid nitrogen to burn off. If it doesn't burn off, we get an ice cube of liquid nitrogen which freezes below negative 190 at the bottom of our well. So what they do is they let the liquid nitrogen burn off, they open up the door with the liquid helium, they'll dip it in, and then they'll start blasting the, the dragon pop with liquid helium. Liquid helium theoretically would get us down to about 3 Kelvin, close to negative 270 degrees centigrade. We'll start descending below negative 200, we'll look for stable operation, and then they'll run 3D Mark 05 and we'll see how far we can go. We've got the GPUs on air, they're overclocked. We've got the platform itself running with AMD Overdrive and a number of other tools to get tweaking and tuning right to do the best score we can accomplish. As you can see, we had a score of about 43,000 earlier on liquid nitrogen. And now we're going to open up the door. And this is a tricky process. And uh, soon the liquid helium will get flow, you'll see the start. And we'll start going below negative 190, at which point you know the helium is starting to work. And we'll see how far down we can go. Very quickly in the process, the, uh, the transfer to the run between the door and the, uh, the platform will freeze to the outer rim. It's so cold. The piece of metal will literally, literally just because of condensation freeze to the side. Come on, dude. And as you can see, we're already below negative 200 degrees centigrade. And Fion 2 is still stable and idle. This is tricky, folks. We're referring to this as the experiment, and we're glad everybody here could join us. Stick around, this will probably take a few hours as we go for various runs. And uh, thanks everyone for being here. We'll be giving away some things after we do this first run. Uh, our, our partners and sponsors, the AI, kind enough to give us some hardware. So let's make these guys work. Let's make it.
And the system is running at 6.5 to the very high. This is the highest we've ever reached. 6.5 to yeah. So next step is uh, we will run some more 3D Mark V with another hard drive, hopefully with higher performance. Uh, we're trying to get to the uh, 3D Mark record of uh, 45,000 something. So we will shut down the system. Okay. Two hundred and seventeen. What's the current score? Three point five five. Running the final test again is number three, 6.3 gigs. Uh, and on this one, we uh, we got very good parameters on the first two tests. So, assuming we finish this, this should be uh, the highest score we've reached here so far. Historically, what's the highest score ever? Uh, the, uh, the official 3D Mark 5 record from the, uh, from the Future Mark database this morning was 45,100. Okay, Assuming we finish the run, we, uh, we should get a bit higher score. So we're going to break a record. Oh, In other words, that's we're going to break the record. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 A couple more seconds to go. And we should have a pretty impressive score of the yeah. Alright, let's see what the score is. 45,474. The highest uh, score we've ever reached. King, did you guys just break the world record? Simon, I think we just did that. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Yeah! We did it on liquid helium, which is 12.3. 6 gigahertz on the CPU core. Uh, the air cool traffic starts. Uh, Northridge at 3.92. Memory running at 560 megahertz. You move the right. top And we, uh, we scored three more than five. I look better. Yeah, I mean, I look better. 45,473 at four. And you folks can confirm for me that this is the highest score that you've ever seen. This is the highest score we've ever seen. That's the highest score we've ever seen. That's right. Awesome. It is. We maintain the low, they get 200 most of the time. Yeah. What we've been trying to do is see scaling with liquid helium. That's been the experiment is, can we get more frequency when we use liquid helium. And as you can see, we were able to break the record tonight using liquid helium to try to push the limits and inspire the community to do what it's always done, which is to push over hawking further by embracing new methods and techniques for getting the most performance on processors. And we thank you for doing that. And we're here to reach out to inspire. And uh, thanks again. We'll, uh, we'll be doing some additional testing um, I think the team might need a few minute break, but um, I think that they're not going to give up yet. So I, I suspect that they'll be here further on in the evening. Uh, Samsa, anything else? Hey. <laughs> we can 